Okay, so if you are watching this video, it is because you just received your box of goodies from Saint. And when you open it up and you slice it, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have all of like this shredding, which save and recycle. It's like perfect for Easter baskets or anything like that. Okay, and then inside is gonna be all of your goodies. So we are gonna go ahead and open these up. And I'm gonna put them inside of a pallet for you. And I will tell you that everybody stresses out about um, how to put stuff inside of their palette. And I wanna assure you that there is no wrong way. So if you receive any of the eyeshadows, they're gonna come like that. All of the rest of the tins are gonna come like this. All the names will be on the back. And the front all has like these gorgeous pictures. So you wanna be careful as you're digging through the box that you don't accidentally throw any of them away because they'll be scattered inside the box here. Your brushes will come all packaged like this. All right, let's see here. Let's see what we got here. So this is gonna be inside of a go-to palette. We're gonna open this up. And we have all the basics here. So we're just gonna scoop everything out and I believe these are all of them. So this is the way they come. All right, so we've got, all right, so I think I have all of them. All right, here we go. So this is my main color, my contour, a blush color, vanilla dusting powder, bronzer, and a brightening. So these are all the main basic go-tos like if you're just starting out. What I have here is a palette. This is our Malibu palette or poolside, I'm sorry, this is actually called poolside. Isn't it, isn't it just so beautiful and it's like iridescent? And this is what I call like a double layer because inside the one right here, you can fit a bunch of tins and then it does have a second layer here. So you can fit eight tins or mix and match between the eyeshadows. You can step up to different sizes and you can go smaller. This would be probably about the minimum size that I would start with. I actually purchased a palette that was a little bit smaller than this and I immediately regretted it. I outgrew it like the day I got my stuff and I outgrew it. Okay, so here you go. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open this up and everyone always asks this question and they say, how do I put them inside? And there is honestly no wrong way. So the way I like to apply it is the way I like to put it on my face. So I am gonna do my contour first. Let's see here. So my contour, and this you get off of your color match, right? So my, of course, it's gonna be the very last tin that I pick up here. My contour is Astoria. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take it out just like this. And it's magnetic, so it pops right inside of the palette just like that, okay? And then my next color that I'm gonna go ahead and apply is going to be my main color here which is going to be mango. So mango is gonna be my main color for the summer and that's what I want this palette for. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that one right in next, okay? And then my next one is gonna be my brightener color, which is amber. So again, I'm gonna pop that one out. You can see they just slide in. So cool, right? And they just pop right in. Okay, and now my next one is going to be my lip and cheek. So I went ahead and picked Frenchie, which I also use Frenchie for underneath my eyes. So this is my concealer that I put underneath my eyes first. So inside this go-to palette that I'm gonna bring with me places, I wanted to make sure that I could have something that sort of um, worked for a bunch of different things. Okay, I can't go anywhere without my bronzer. So this is the Bella bronzer, she's my favorite. She's sheer, she looks really dark, but she's actually sheer. So it works for all skin tones. You put it over so that way you're always matching your chest, you're always matching your neck. Uh, you can also use this as an eyeshadow. You can use it as a lip liner. Um, you can use this to cover dark spots first before you put on the rest of your makeup. So there's like a hundred reasons to love Bella. Okay, and then this little guy right here. This is the vanilla dusting powder, and I love to set my makeup with the vanilla dusting powder. So I do use the Perfector sponge with the setting spray, but this is a translucent powder that you can go ahead and set like underneath your eyes and anywhere that you may have 
like extra oil. Um, I love to set my eyeshadow with this. So speaking of the eyeshadows, let's go ahead and open these. So I have, I'm just gonna put this down for a second. So I have two, I have Soulmate and Basic. So these are just my go-to shadows so that way I could kind of put together a quick look on the go. Like when I need something to go to baseball, it just kind of makes traveling very easily. They come in these plastic packaging and you just pop this open. I just want you to see the sizing for the tin spacing, right? So this palette that I'm showing you now is an eight and that's because it fits eight large tins, but you can also do a combination with the eyeshadows. So when you pop these in, two eyeshadows equal one big tin. So I have room in here for four eyeshadows. I could do one more big tin if I wanted a different lip color or something like that, or mix and match between whatever you wanted to do. So let me go ahead and just open this one again and I'll show you. This one is basic. I think everybody should have like a basic brown inside of their palette. And the neat part is when you're going ahead and you're replacing them, all of them do have the names on the back, so that way you can go ahead and just order the ones that you want. And I love Soulmate because it's like a skin color. It's just a really pretty shimmer, so that way I have a matte and I have a shimmer, and now I have one empty spot to go ahead and grow in. So this is everything you need right in here, and then you can grab a couple of the brushes, which come so beautiful. So this is actually the blend brush. Not only do they come packaged, inside like this but to protect the bristles they come like this and so the brushes are absolutely gorgeous look at this they're beautiful they're like a rose gold they're super 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 soft and they're all double-sided too so this way i can have a couple of brushes to go and that way i can get the coverage that i need i've got everything right here in this nice easy to hold palette give you an idea of the size of my hand you know, it's no bigger than like basically holding a deck of cards, if you will. So this is just really easy on the go. And then if you wanna do, so I do my eyebrows too. Let me show you this one. So I do my eyebrows as well. And so I love to have the line brush and all I do is I just use my contour. I just kind of make life easy, right? So I just use my contour and I use this brush right here. It has a spoolie for your eyebrows. And then this side is angled, as you can see. And then I just dip this into my contour and I fill in my brows. So this just makes life super easy. <laughs> All right, well, let me know as always if you have any questions whatsoever, but I just wanted to go ahead and record a little video so that way you can see just how easy it is to pop them inside your palette. Don't overthink the placement and it's not permanent. They're magnetic, so you can rearrange and change your mind anytime. Thank you and have a great day.